Okay, so we're shooting a video today, and this rabbit came from uh, my backyard where I was eating my tomato plants. And basically this isn't so much about the rabbit as it is about the really cool trap that my friend Nick made. That's Nick's house over there. Uh, Nick made the house and he has 20 odd acres here. He's a renaissance man. Anyway, this is about his trap. So Jones, if you could get over here and film and I'll let it let the rabbit go and then we'll discuss the hatch. So if you can get a pretty good close up of kind of like right there and then people can see everything. And then hopefully I don't scare the shit out of the rabbit too much. So yesterday I caught another rabbit here and the other the other rabbit was doughy and this is buck i named them but doughy decided uh, buck decided he couldn't live without doughy so he got in the trap too so he could follow whatever happened to doughy <laughs> so here goes so this is here come and get a uh, close up on this latch because that's a really intricate part of the trap so this latch here is just gravity fed and nick made that latch uh, out of stuff laying around in his garage, but see the door won't open past that because this trap will catch raccoons and stuff like that too. So there's the rabbit right there. I'm going to lift the door up and see if he bolts. Nope, he's hiding right there. So yesterday what I did was I shooed out the other rabbit and I went running off. This one's not nearly as freaked out as the other one. Oh, well, he doesn't want to jump. There it goes. And that's right where his girlfriend went yesterday. He's probably smelling his girlfriend right now. Okay, so what this... Thank you, honey. Okay. So what this is about, really, is to show you how cool Nick's trap is here. And it's a live trap. And uh, this whole thing right here, it's a board, obviously. And at that end of it, there's a really fine string, a wire and the wire is a trip mechanism and this is the whole trip mechanism so if you can see the wire there it goes down into the board and then this this is a, a thin metal rod i have in my fingers and hey jones how about coming and filming this part And just kind of a close-up thing and and get it from over there on the side so now I'm arming the mechanism and so uh, right in the middle of that piece of cardboard is a little hole it's not cardboard it's plywood and the door fits in to the slot on the cage like this and then get a close-up of that where this rod fits in so to arm the trap this little rod goes into the hole in the plywood and it's just really balanced lightly in there. And there, it's armed. So even if something as light as a rabbit comes up to this end of the cage, uh, any pressure at all on this end of the board will pull the string. And the trap door falls. So here comes little rabbit Foo Foo in on the board. And it falls down, doesn't hurt the rabbit, and uh, catches the critter. So we've got two rabbits on consecutive days with this trap. I'm just delighted with it. Uh, good job on my friend Nick for creating it. Thank you.